All right. So, tell us a little bit about yourselves and your Madrid experience. Okay. Uh, my name is Sarah. I'm from Los Angeles, California. I'm Nelson. I'm from San Francisco, California. And um, we came to Madrid basically without knowing where to go, <laughs> without knowing where to live. We were both uh, staying in hostels. So, um, how was that like? It was tough. It's tough, it's fun, sort of, but at the same time it's kind of nice to have a place to call home. You're always kind of like nervous. And yeah, <laughs> the hostel is, is tough because you're looking with a lot of other people and they get in at all hours of the day. And, and they're also and trying to find... Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can't really sleep in a hostel, which is... Which is tough. It's nice to have a place to, you know, call home to finally settle down. Because people in the hostels are going from place to place, but if you want to stay somewhere, you don't want to be in a hostel. And how'd you find home? Well, we first tried looking for housing on our own, but it's really difficult if you don't, if you aren't, you know, living here permanently, if you don't have an NIE number, because they want to know that information, they want to know, see your bank statements, um, you need to have at least enough rent for 40% of your income each month and it's really difficult so we found it really easy it was recommended to me through a friend and um, it was a very good experience yeah. yeah so within a week of getting here and staying at the hostel I had a place to stay uh, and the nice thing was that even though our apartment wasn't ready exactly on time, Madrid Easy gave us another place to stay in the meantime, and we were very comfortable and stayed there, which was very nice. It was nice to finally have someone we could finally fall asleep and call home. Nice. That sounds like really, really cool. Any, uh, any downside to like, like any sour parts to that story, you know? Just besides the fact that you had to wait a week, anything like lost luggage, shampoo bottle breaking in the luggage or stuff like that, nothing? The only thing was other people using my stuff at the hospital. Oh yeah, don't leave your stuff out at the hospital. My stuff you mean, I hope not that your toothbrush or something. Like my underwear, no, no, <laughs> uh, no like um, shampoo, shampoo and stuff. Stuff expensive. People used it. Shampoo is expensive here, more expensive than in the United States also, so keep that in mind. <laughs> but no, the other thing is, is uh, Madrid Easy was a nice, affordable option. You get a lot of the same prices or less that you would find, especially as a student. Um, I see a lot of advertisements for students for places to live, and it's pretty much the same or less with Madrid Easy to find an apartment. And I think that the biggest benefit was the fact that it's furnished, like yeah. completely furnished with linens and everything. Like that's been the most helpful because you actually save a lot of money. You know, not shopping for linens, not looking for cookware, things like this. Like, they're just already provided for you, which was great. And our apartment's awesome. We have a full range stove, two bathrooms, beautiful bathrooms, and a great view. A really great view. All right, guys. Thank you so much.